kind of talked about it before, but just having uh, Tommy being able to play in the field, just what does that do for you guys lineup wise and kind of the versatility it allows you to kind of run with moving forward? Well, the first thing it does is it helps us defensively because he's put a lot of work in and has become a really good third baseman. I mean, he had the one play today and made it look really easy. And uh, so that's the first thing. Secondly, it just adds more versatility, you know, lineup flexibility, left-handed, right-handed. Um, you know, maybe we can evaluate the pitching matchup a little bit better. Uh, really proud of how the team responded to that injury and to Trey's injury. Um, we didn't miss a beat, you know, moving guys around and we worked really hard on the defensive side of the ball. And everybody that's played and filled in has done a great job. Is there a downside to all of these run rule games? I know what we're going to do. Tell them not to score and not to throw shutouts. And uh, I mean, I, I, I'm proud of the team. And it's something we can't control. And, you know, something I learned a long time ago in coaching is if you spend time worrying about things you can't control, then you're probably not doing a good job of the things that you can do to help make your team better. So, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> You obviously aren't going to announce next week's rotation right now, but Thatcher, is he kind of emerged as a SEC starter? Yeah, I think, you know, we brought him here with the – that was the intent, you know, and, and there was no question he was going to get there. Um, you know, the schedule has been challenging in the amount of games and number of days and, you know, long road trip. I mean, we are on the road for a week and then we came back and immediately had a four-game weekend and then played five this week. And so – um, you know, I spent a lot of December thinking of how we would line it up to, you know, give ourselves the best chance and, and develop our team. You know, we're, there's a lot more going on than just post a win or a, a loss. And so there was a plan, you know, kind of going into it. And um, I think we've executed that pretty good so far. You yep. said at the beginning of the season that Thatcher needed to work on some development things, and that's why he was starting some Tuesdays. Was that partially because he was still getting over an injury? And how have you seen him overcome um, the adversity he's faced. Yeah, I don't think, I think we got to a good place in the fall um, mm -hmm. with handling the injury, understanding it, treating it. Um, you know, Derek Groomer with his strength and conditioning program and Josh Walker from an athletic training standpoint, they really dived in uh, to the uh, PARS defect thing and, and how to treat it and how to balance out his body. So I think we kind of got through all of that in the fall and then it was just a matter of getting experience. I mean, he got hurt in the middle of last year, so he didn't really have a full freshman season. His junior year was COVID. You know, it was like a lot of guys lost. So, so there's just some development time that he needs, like a lot of our guys do. But the, the talent is the talent. It's exceptional. It's four pitches, and that's it's really tough to deal with when he's throwing all four of them for strikes like he has the last three times out there. You talked about that road trip. Tommy was trying to play and get his timing back and everything, and, and now obviously it seems like he's got it. I mean, was he being unselfish trying to play back then? And, uh, or? I I don't know. I think um, I think I think we're in a good place right now. And uh, we had had a meeting with him um, after the second day he'd played, and we just we got some things cleaned up, and he's really good. And when you put a good plan in front of a talented player, and then they commit to it. Uh, you get great results, and he's he's an unbelievable hitter. Did you think the power was going to be like it is now? Been, I'm not talking about just this weekend, just this entire year. For him? Or for any oh, this entire lineup? I, I think it's unique. I think, um, you know, they're doing a lot of things right. That A lot of people can hit the ball a long ways in batting practice, but translating it into usable skill in the game, that there's a lot of layers to that. And um, we just, in our development plan for hitters, we try to hit each – step along the way and so we always have some place to go back to so it turns into usable skill in the game and um, these guys have been very disciplined you know since august you know at, at this this process and uh have been mentally strong to where it doesn't get away from them too often and that's hard like i mean we had a meeting when it was two to nothing in the fifth and it's just like okay <laughs> this is a difficult game like you guys have made it look easy um, but that doesn't change the nature of baseball and so just kind of get back to your plan and they did, and then it's just good at bad after good at bad after good at bad. And it's just, it's, it's some, there's no pressure on anybody because at some point somebody's, um, or a strand of three guys is going to take good at bats in a row. And, and a guy like Malazzo, he's obviously worked hard to improve his stick. And even sometimes I've seen him connect and somebody runs it down the gap or whatever. I mean, what's, what's like, I mean, it's got to make it Yeah, it's good awesome. Yeah. Love it. He's, he's been phenomenal. I mean, he's been a big part of our team. I, he may have, I think I held him one game with a small little injury thing. But I think he's played in every game but one. And um, at that position, 
that's massive. So it's it's kind of the same as he started like five or six games already. And um, he's a massive contributor to the pitching staff, uh, shuts down the running game. Um, and his at-bats, I mean, he's been working hard. I was disappointed that he got hurt last year because I saw some of this progress uh, happening. And, um, and his team first guy, great leadership skills, worked hard, competitive. And uh, again, you know, so, sometimes guys just develop at different times in their career. And I'm, I'm really happy for him that that's happening. And that's a big deal for our team. Did you want to throw Gidry in kind of a, I mean, the game wasn't totally at hand, but it was still relatively close. Yeah, we felt like he matched up good with the top of their order. And um, he's going to be really, he is not going to be, he's really good. And I thought it was a good opportunity. Again, like it's, it's four to nothing against a division one baseball team that will win a lot of games that had some good arms. I mean, just don't let the scores fool you. I mean, we saw real pitching this weekend, um, you know, I think it was more of we felt like he matched up good. I could see him in that exact scenario moving forward. And so to get that underneath his belt was really positive, but we were doing it in the context of, you know, what if it's a four to two game? You know, did, did that make sense? And I still felt like it made, made sense. The other side of the run rule thing, your next opponent just had a 35 to three game. Have you ever been a part of something like that? Uh, Probably. I mean, it's a lot of years. I mean, I can't remember much about last year at this point in time. Um, yeah, that's uh, guys are big and strong and physical right now, and those kinds of things can happen. And um, and they have a great hitting team and a lot of, uh, you know, good players. So. Speaking of UNO, what's it going to take Tuesday night to kind of head into SEC play uh, with another one under your belt? Yeah, um, I, I'll be honest. I'll start looking at them today. I have not um, – I know they've won some games. Um, I, I caught them on ESPN Plus like two weeks ago against Tulane in a game that they won um, in my home office. But um, I know Blake's done a really good job there. I've really enjoyed getting to know him, you know, with his connection here. And uh, they have good players. And, um, you know, they just like all these other teams from Louisiana, and they come here, it's, it's a big deal to come here and play. And um, I like that they're winning. I mean, the, the scheduling thing comes down to RPI for me. That's the sole purpose of everything that we do. And um, right now they're in a good spot where that will be beneficial to us. And, and I like their team. I think they're going to win games going forward also. So we just need to be ourselves and, and we need to get some rest tonight. Like this has been a, a good stretch of, of game. So we need to get rest, get recovered tomorrow. We'll have a good pre-practice, you know, during the game on Tuesday. And then, um, and then just try to, Players be themselves. I'm heading into the first SEC series. Where's the confidence level of this team right now? Should be high. You know, if if it's not high, I don't I don't know anything about confidence. I mean, they're they're uh, they're focused. I mean, this is not like this is not a ordinary group of people. And and I don't mean that from uh, just a baseball talent standpoint. And we have good leadership, and uh, they're very grounded. And you know, things are not going to be easy, but I, I trust how they approach things. And um, so I think it's just continue to be themselves. I don't know if you've um, uh, been in tune with this, but it seems like a lot of teams just kind of start using the same exact bat that Red Marucci, like is, is there sort of a reason behind that or do you, or do you have any idea? Man, those guys are awesome. Um, I'm sure they do the, the best job, you know, developing the product. Um, I mean, I was with Wilson and Louisville Slugger my whole career uh, at my previous stops and um, it didn't take too long uh, to figure out, like, 10 seconds after I was hired, the level of service that those guys give LSU baseball. And um, very thankful for the relationship with them and um, the intelligence behind the whole operation um, and how they put everything together is a big asset to us. And so I'm sure the bat is probably the best bat. <laughs> I mean, you know what I mean, based on uh, – I'm really bad at equipment. Like I literally, I don't handle any, I don't handle any of that stuff. I use the same glove from like 12 years old all the way through college. So I mean, I, our guys are spoiled, and they should be. So it's all good. <laughs>